it is nonsense. The idea that somehow uh, the Supreme Court can't review the constitutionality of, of a law because it was passed by not a large majority, but forget it. I mean, there's, there's no law that's passed by minorities, so it's sort of a, a red herring to begin with. The Supreme Court uh, overturned federal statutes on average once every 16 months from, the from Marbury v. Madison until 2001. We've, uh, the idea that somehow if it overturned this, that would just be unprecedented is bizarre. Well, this is what the Supreme Court does. It overturns, of course. I mean, that's part of its charter is to overturn laws that don't comport with the Constitution. And by the way, his claim that this is somehow, you know, a, a tangible argument, when, you know, the court shouldn't approach this as an abstract argument. Abstract arguments are what they take up. Um, as a constitutional scholar, as everyone likes to call him, the analysis was just completely disingenuous. Now, on the politics, it's a different issue. On the politics, it might make sense for him to attack the Supreme Court. It might galvanize his base. It might be um, the smart way to play it. I think he's working the refs in a certain way, uh, to a certain extent. Uh, but as, as a matter of sort of honest public policy discussion, I just thought it was almost outrageous.